I'm Laurel Erickson at the Veterans Cemetery in Westwood. The haunting portraits of soldiers who have died and artists protest against the war. The story coming up. A solemn tribute to our fighting men and women coming up, capturing the faces of war through art. Plus, Fritz... All right, your local artists have created a unique exhibit inspired by the war in Iraq. It is a chapel filled with portraits of men and women who have died there so far. Ironically, the chapel is named for a legendary wartime entertainer. Channel 4's Laurel Erickson picks it up from there. Portraits of war. 1,200 U.S. soldiers killed in Iraq. There was a war hoop going on all over the country, and I was so angry about it, I needed to do something. So I started when there were 365 soldiers that had died. Uh, I quickly realized they were dying so quick, so fast, that I couldn't handle all the deaths. Eva Andre was so frustrated, she called upon other artists in her class to help remember the dead. Sergeant Henry Ybarra III, age 32, just starting out in life, and here he is, gone. 750 palm-sized paintings of soldiers killed in Iraq. A silent anti-war protest that has touched former soldiers as well. Art, after all, is a message filtered through the heart of those who see it. I was thinking about uh, the life she might have had and uh, just, you know, how much hope she had in her face and how unrealized everything was for her and she was gone. The artists have even created a website called Breaking the Silence, but it is the paintings that reach out, a mixed message about a war that has many Americans confused. The faces in this exhibit are haunting. For the artist, it is a silent protest against the war, and for the families of those who have died, it is a tribute to their sacrifice. Laurel Erickson, Channel 4 News, the Bob Hope Chapel at the Veterans Cemetery in Westwood.